Hello and welcome to this edition of Hot Button. Last week we chatted about everything related to spring, what we were looking forward to most, what we were dreading, and we have a follow-up comment on Twitter from at Ellie May Out West. Says she's looking forward to soccer, but dreading cleaning windows. Frowny face. Now with spring comes spring break and the promise of longer days and long weekends. So this week we want to talk travel. Uh, we want to know what you like to do uh, for your holidays, whether you like to go away on vacation or perhaps you prefer a staycation. And so we reached out to our friends on social media and we asked them what they like to do with their time off. And a couple of comments here on Facebook. Shiva says she loves vacations in Canada, but it's not always affordable. Uh, it's very expensive. MJ Phillips says the best vacation is one where he gets away from it all. Now, uh, speaking of getting away, I, like every other person, love to get away. Um, however, However, uh, like our friends mentioned, sometimes it's not financially feasible to go on those big elaborate vacations. So I tend to do sort of the, you know, mini little weekend getaways. You know, maybe it's to Whistler for a couple of days, up to Kelowna. I'm actually going to Seattle uh, this coming weekend for an overnight stay. And it'll be the first time I've actually visited the States in the last year. Well, Kern, just like you, um, many people are now choosing just to do the day trips, the car trips, the one day, two days overnight. It's just like you mentioned and like the comments have mentioned, the budgets and the finances that go into today's day are just unaffordable for many so day trips are becoming a lot more popular mm -hmm. a lot more people are going down to the US for just a day and coming back and I believe it's risen about 1.5 uh, percent which is about two uh, two and a half million trips uh, since last year which is very high in uh, just day trips overall so okay and what about you are you the kind of girl that uh, every spring break you're planning a trip to Mexico or what do you like to do I like to especially in the warmer weather stay around home get catch up catch up with old friends you know because you're so busy in your daily life so uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a stay cater and I like to use what we have here in BC, beautiful British Columbia. Okay, no Mexico for you. Well, like you said, we are very blessed uh, living in the valley. We have so many amenities, like for example, Cultus Lake. Beautiful. Cultus Lake is such a tourism hotspot for a lot of people. Not only, you know, people locally are coming to visit that area, but people, you know, across BC and perhaps across Canada. For example, um, I think Sunnyside Campground in Cultus Lake is the largest private campground in Western Canada. There's some something like 600 private sites there. Wow. So it's a great place for families to come and visit. BC is actually voted the number one top destination to travel with Ontario coming in second. And you know what, like you said, there's so many places around here and why not? Why not take advantage of all these things that are in the our backyards and so. keep that money in the economy and keep it <laughs> we all need every little dime these days you let us know if you could fly anywhere would you or would you stay here and use what we have here in British Columbia touch base with us on Twitter and Facebook in the next episode of hot button we'll revisit your comments